Hello there, people of the internet. Shrixot65 here, bringing you another Epic Minecraft video. And today, I will be showing you how to install a bucket server. I've already done a vanilla server, uh, vanilla server, so you guys can check that out, that out if you want. If you don't want bucket for some reason, because bucket is a little bit more laggy because you can get a bunch of plugins and stuff but basically the difference between bucket and vanilla if you don't know is bucket you can get like plugins all this cool stuff you know and vanilla is just plain server and that's just plain you can't do anything really special on it so um basically yeah today I already said I'm gonna be showing you and what I did is I went ahead and made pre-made servers for Windows 64 and 32 bit and I put it into this one little download right here and you can just go here I'll put a link of this into the description for you guys and you just click download and then you just open it up once you have it and once you open it up it should look like this so then you can just make a right click your desktop click new folder just rename it whatever you want bucket server and then you can open up that so then you can select oh sadly it's not for mac because i don't have a mac sorry guys but um sorry mac users but i went ahead and made pre-made servers for both 64 and 32 so basically depending on what you have it's um well if you don't know then you can come to start down here click that go to computer i believe i'm pretty sure it's me. oh wait no, no no you right click computer Go to properties, and then this should come up, and then down here should say, if you're 30, wait, where is it? Um, okay, right here. What? I don't have 64 bit. What? Wait, no. Okay, well, right here it should say whatever you have. Okay. So then, okay, I, that was just, that's just probably an error or something. I don't have 64-bit. So, and if one of them doesn't work, then just try the other in case, I don't know. Uh, so, um, I have 32-bit. Um, so then you just click on whichever one you have, and then you select these, just drag these two files into your little bucket thing, server thing, file, folder, thingy, bobber. And then, or if you have 64-bit, same thing. Um, you just drag them in, but I'm not going to because I don't have 64-bit. So then, you should have this right here. And then you just double-click Start. And this black thing should come up, and then this will load. It takes a, quite a while to load up you know but it eventually will it'll say all the stuff it's normal to get those errors and stuff you know just okay preparing spawn area now soon it will quit. stay done and the one major thing you always have to remember with the bucket server is I'll show you in a second any time that you're going to like um what's it called like leave the bucket server you have like anytime that you're gonna like take off the bucket server you have this is extremely important you have to type into this little console stop you cannot just exit because if you just close it then it will not save anything of the world that you did so you have to type in stop and then this will it takes a tiny bit to stop what the heck why is it taking so long probably because I'm recording
Hello? Okay, well... Um... Okay, guys, um, I'm, I'll be right back with you.